because this technically needs to get documented as its own YouTube series on outpost building since this is my new journey so these will get pulled out as 30 minute episodes over on YouTube for the base building outpost building stuff um, this looks pretty bleak and bland and I'm not thinking that this is a place I'm gonna want to build I'll keep an eye out for but we have the rover now what do you need to discuss? Why, why you got ID stuff you need to discuss? Detected. Come on, Sarah, what's Look, the problem? I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you. The fact that you risked your life to save me, I... I don't know what to say. Uh, you would have done the same for me. Well, yes, of course. But that's beside the point. My only wish... Is that my rescue hadn't come at the expense of Barrett's life. He was one of my closest colleagues. I'm just looking for something scenic, Barticus, because I don't care about resources at the moment, because that's going to uh, come when I get deeper into the <laughs> Outpost Building series, and I'm worried about funneling specific resources in. All right. That was completely out of your control. <laughs> I really wish I could believe that. <clears throat> Our charter at Constellation has always been... I'll worry about resources later on. But rarely at the expense of our members' lives. I need to get out of the storm damage. I'm taking lung damage here. I've been here. cavalier about taking risks and pushing the boundaries, not appreciating the true cost. She's of sitting my here wanting to have a conversation. Had I not pushed so hard to pursue the Starborn, perhaps none of this would have happened at all, and Barrett would still be alive. <gasps> Spoiler alert. Sarah Morgan I knew would never let the Starborn get away with their plan. No, she wouldn't. But was it worth the cost? Damn it! Why is this happening to us? Because you're making a stand Our in the middle of a storm. That's why it's happening to us. Our curiosity pushes us to <laughs> seek answers to life's mysteries. It's one of the core traits of humankind. Yet in return, this is what the universe throws at us. Beings from God knows where who are trying to murder us. Why? What have we done wrong? Uh, there are some mysteries, but yeah, it's simply bad luck. No, I refuse to allow Barrett's death to be attributed to bad luck. It isn't fair. Does anybody Most remember how long the storms where last for? Where do we for? go from here? Do we stop exploring? Stop pushing the boundaries? Take a more aggressive posture Who's my favorite companion? Asks Cody. Uh, Andrea. Andrea has is by far my favorite. I'm going to die from lung damage while talking to this woman. Alright, we keep doing exactly what we're doing because we never did anything wrong in the first place. We continue moving forward. We take out anything that stands in our way. Oh, I don't know. We've already suffered such a terrible <laughs> loss. I can't bear to have it happen again. Well, I suppose that's all I had on my mind for now. I'm sorry I got so angry. I'm skipping. I feel like I'm on an episode of NPC, Epic NPC Man. Skip. Skip. Good. <laughs> Skip. Because I expect this won't be the last time I intend to cry on your shoulder or scream in... Well, we have All a right. long... Run. Just hush. I need to cure my lung damage. I'm all sorts of messed up right now <laughs> goodness gracious I guess I only have one major thing going on right now yep, 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 injector and I need to eat and drink so I think one of those is probably my character complaining about not having any food drinks do I not have anything to drink red ale it's better than nothing I'm hydrated poor air quality super protection engaged I need to get on the ship 
Someone says the only way to clear it is fast traveling. Okay. Well, if that's the case, check out the star map. Yeah, Bubblonia. She's this Sarah's not my favorite companion. And I don't know if you can like what happens if I decide to go uh um do Andrea now? Does does, does she like want a divorce? What happens? Like <laughs> I was ride or die with Andrea the first time through. After Barrett anyway. Uh oh. Dead people at the outpost. That's not good. He's got cheddar snack crackers, though. Thanks, buddy. I like cheese. Um, having never built outposts before, here's a question for people who have done outposts before. Can you take over someone else? Like, if, can you build on top of something like this, or are there restrictions? Um... Can I get back to my... There are restrictions? Okay. You can't build near POIs. That's all I needed to know. Thank you very much. Alright, cool. I picked up something you might be interested in. Bubbleman says, I did Sarah on my main I'm romance to everyone else on a subsequent NG+. Plus. No idea if you can divorce in the same universe run. Okay. This place is looking pretty barren at first glance, everybody. I'm not sure that... Uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to want to build here. This is a little too deserty for me. There are different biomes. Can you see the biomes of the planet map transcend? Because I haven't ever done... This is the part... I've played this game 500 hours and I have no... I've never done any of the planetary exploration. So can I, like, look at the planet from in space and look at the various biomes? Oh, look at that performance chop. For surface map, there might be a lake you can see nearby. Okay, yeah, I got nothing on this map. This is just barren nothingness. So probably... We can go back to the, the planetary map. You can see the biomes? Okay, that was my big thing. Aha! Well, sort of. Hide resources? Okay, so this kind of gives me an idea of what I'd be looking at. Because this right here looks a little more green as an example. And this is more icy. So like, what if we picked something right here? Tropical forest, aha, okay. Okay. Mountains. Okay. Can I find a place where the mountains and these are hills? Rocky desert. Let's travel here. Okay. Thank you guys for the help. This is outpost. Newbiness. Um, this is interesting. I don't like the trees. Um, yeah, not a fan of these trees. 
Let me see if there are different trees in a different area. Or if they're all going to be the same trees on this planet. I have a points to spend, but I don't want to spend my points until I know what I'm going to need for outpost building. Yeah, I think they're all going to be these weird palm trees. I'm not really a fan of those. Uh, let's try one more location down here. There's a lake. Can I somehow get it on that lake? That's ocean, it says. Yeah, that's what I'd like to find, Transcend, like a forest biome. Because I think the tropicals are all going to have that same type of tree. Yep. Definitely looks like that's going to be the case. Alright, that lightning was pretty dope. Get back inside, though. I don't want to die to another storm. Deciduous forest. Yeah, I don't know if this planet has it. Um, Maybe. What's this right here? That's ocean. Rocky desert, rocky desert, mountains, rocky desert. Mountains, tropical, mountains. This one might not, might not have. Oh, cam zone, I've done two, I'm in my second playthrough, man. This is a, uh, I've got over 400 hours logged. I've played a lot of Starfield. I've just never done outpost building. Or planet exploration. Because uh, I didn't really care to do this when it was just the jetpack. Tropical Forest Coast. Ooh. hate these trees. Rocky desert. I do want to try the mountain really quick. I found it. Now I can't. There we go. Mountains. Let's see what these look like. Okay, okay. Alright. This is mountainous, and now we've got some different looking trees. Cam Zone Show, you should go check out my playlists, man. There's two links down below. You're watching on YouTube right now. There's a link to my primary playthrough, and there's a link to this second playthrough. Each playthrough has a series of live streams. Each series also has a series of Let's Play videos. You go back and check out all the things I did with the stories and exploration and artifacts and New Game Plus and all that other stuff. This is a little too barren. I would like a little more forested. Let's drive around a little bit and see what we can see, though. You take the wheel. Of course I'm taking the wheel. Okay. Let's maybe drive up in here and see what we can see. Maybe there's something tucked away back in this area. Oops. Sorry about that.
peak at outpost at the top of the mountain, says Yenit. I need something with more trees. I do transcend, but the problem is, if you're wanting to like link screenshots and stuff, you won't be able to because my my Discord has a leveling system, so you can't post things unless you've been a community member for quite a while and you've ranked up and leveled up. Um, we do that to fight off the spammers. Well, I'm not a fan of this this environment. It looks promising, but it doesn't have enough trees for me. Man, I wish I could find Rocky Desert Coast. What about hills? What do the hills look like? All right, we're gonna look a couple more times. If I don't find anything on this planet, we're moving on. Ah, oh, this is way too desertous. Yeah, not a fan. Well, there's stuff on the backside as well. Rocky desert, rocky desert. I'm not seeing any. It's all tropical forest and I don't want that tropical. I, I know that you said you've got stuff here um, transcend that's like it's deciduous, but nothing here. So I'm gonna go check out one of the other planets in the system. Because we were on, we're on Eradini 2. 4 is cold. 4 is also cold. 1 is an inferno. 3 is also temperate. Let's check out that one. Oh, yeah, I don't remember where that quest was at, though, Yenit. That was a long time ago. Okay, we've got average. Okay, what do we got here? We got sandy desert. Frozen Dunes. I think it's all Sandy Desert, man. Yeah, that's also... And also, yes, Super Orange. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I want this planet. Uh, I would like to take a look at it really quick though. Like we'll just maybe see if I can't. Let's land on the coast and see what this looks like. Setting down. Everything in the green. Thanks. Uh, let's get out of here. I'm not seeing anything in this particular system that I want, so we're not gonna. I think there's the only two planets that had a temperate. I don't. I don't really want to go to a cold one because it'll be too cold. Some of these are deep freeze. Move it on. How 
have I been to Captain Star? No. What about this one over here? Tau Seti. Ooh, what do we got over here? Um, deep Freeze. Frozen. Temperate. Thin atmosphere, though. Time to swerve. Yes. Redwood trees would be awesome. Odin. Ooh, what does this place have? A lot of oceans. Hills. Hills Coast. Let's see what these look like. Well, see, there are some really cool places I've seen on Reddit, and there are names of planets and systems, but to find them, I'm going to have to go searching through and or, or find someone who's got them listed on the map Ready so I know how to get there. Oh, wow. There's nothing here. It's just at though. There's no trees. Pass. Pass. That's a cool chain of like islands and stuff, but it looks like it's all gonna be just hills. Hills never have trees, easy in it. I wonder if they've got a filter on that just doesn't let them populate. Frozen, Inferno, Cold. I'm betting there's nothing here that I'm going to find. Frozen. Yep. Back to the galaxy map. Oh, I'll eventually find something. Here's Sirius. They've only got one thing there. Someone says system called Procyon A next to the soul system. I've been to both of those, I think. Let's go check it out. What's up, Furley? I'm excited for Shattered Space 2. This is a rock. That's an inferno. This one's cold. This one's an inferno. Also cold. So probably not. What about Procyon 2, though? Nope. Scorched. We've also got star. I don't remember anything here. Temperate. Huh. Hang on, hang on. Can I check all the way from here, like, the biomes? Before even traveling here? I can. Sandy desert hills. Yeah. Sandy desert. Boo to sandy desert. Okay. Soul system planets? Yeah, I haven't even thought to look in these places. Venus is an inferno. Mars. God, Earth Toast.
That may be the one I'm looking for. The Narian system is definitely the one. I'm, that's one of the ones that's on my list, uh, Bubblonia. It is... Sumati Narion Station. That's literally the one I'm looking at on Reddit, Bubblonia. One o'clock from Seoul. Hold that thought. Um, oh, it's right there. I didn't even see it. Well, I may have... This is one of the ones I wanted to check out. Oh, well, there we are right there. I've got a Reddit thread. Pretty planets for a home base. And that one has some amazing screenshots that I was looking at earlier. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got Coniferous Forest Coast. Okay, if, imagine if we could get a really cool coastal location to build out. I am bog bugged, and that's definitely what we're working on at the Landing moment. We were doing some quests earlier, but now we're trying to find a place to build my first outpost. This is bad. Try suit walking on the exterior of a military ship during maneuvers. All right, let's check out the map. Let's go into the surface map. The coast is right over here. So what I want to do is drive to the coast. And then we're going to be just looking around and see what we can see. Um, I may want something more mountainous than coastal, because I don't know what the coast is going to look like. But we're going to go. We're going to go take a look, dude. These trees are awesome. This is definitely. I'm definitely considering. Thank you for that, Bubblonia. This is the place I couldn't. I didn't know how to. I had gone looking for it yet, but this is the Reddit post I had pulled up. Yeah, Bogdan. I'm like 500. 20, I think, at this point. I've still never built an outpost. Uh, now, see, this gets too rocky right away. Like, they drop you out on the coast and it's, like, pure rocks. What I would really like to have is um, some sort of mountainous dwelling that also has a view of the sea, but that might be asking a bit much of the procedural system that they're using. off creatures yeah I'm betting that's how they've got their filter set all right I'm going back into performance mode guys there's definitely hitching in quality mode the way this the way that's working and that's driving me nuts definitely they still need to do more work it's it what it is if you see what's happening is as soon as it starts to load the next section it hitches for a brief second um, it's not that big of a deal but I definitely would rather have it prioritize performance. Ah, well, I'm betting that I'm not gonna be able to find what I want because of the... Ah. I think I can actually shoot these things with the... I definitely like the look of this planet. I'm gonna keep looking though. I wanna see if I can't find something. Like this is pretty good, but like I can't see to hit the trees. Dude, 
Oh, I can't fast travel during combat. Alright, well, we need to ditch these guys. These are all like hunting bugs that keep locking me in combat. Alright, am I out of combat? Am I out of combat? Go, 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 while we're out of combat. Alright. It says we're still in combat, and I don't believe it, because I don't see anything. What if I get out of the vehicle? Sound effects are nice here. I think we cleared it. The meter's white now. It's really a mining laser? That's true. Alright, I saw something down over here a minute ago. Deciduous forest. This doesn't look like a forest region to me. It looks like it's been completely cleared. Who are you that just landed? Let's go take a look. Oh no, I'm getting stuck with the stupid environment. Colliders, I'm not going to be able to get there in time. You can upgrade the laser? Oh, I haven't looked into that. I love the vehicle, it's awesome. I would not be out here exploring planets if it weren't for this vehicle, because I did not do this during my first playthroughs because I didn't want to go out here and roam around with my jetpack. But this is pretty cool. I want to see if I can get over here before they take off. Maybe it's a free ship. <laughs> 